Now let's look at an example to understand naive Bayes. We'll go back to the same example that we looked at for decision trees, so it's easy to compare both these models. So we have the data on the left. It may be a little too small, but I'm hoping that you're able to see it. So we are, I'm referring to the slide or with the data, which has day, outlook, temperature, humidity, wind, and platelets. This is the data, and for this data, as the training data, we are going to use the na naive Bayes model to classify a new instance. The naive Bayes model will be trained on the data on the left, and the trained model will be used on the new instance, sunny, cool, high, strong. Okay, so let's get to it. So for this, first step is to identify what are our features and what are our target or prediction or class uh, variables. So we have S, yes or no to be our two, two predictions. And outlook, temperature, humidity, and wind are our features. And sunny, cool, high, and strong are their respective values that we are going to use to predict this instance. Okay, so we will use naive base to classify it to yes or no. And we are going to calculate the probability of Y, so I'm just going to write this in the terminology that we already learned, so it's easy to understand for you. Probability of Y i pi over i. Probability of X given Y i. Right? So for each x, we calculate what is the probability under the class yi, and then we multiply that with probability of yi itself, probability of the class itself. Okay, so now we are going to calculate these values to see, to just show, walk you through this example and um, show you how to use naive Bayes to perform the calculations. Okay, so here um, we use AI for the features and B for the class variable that you're predicting. Just a small change in notation here in the slide deck, but um, it's the same formula that we saw earlier. Okay, so first off, we want to calculate the different components. First one is probability of B. The second component is so this is the first one probability of b which is nothing but probability of yes separately and probability of no separately so we have b equal to we are going to repeat this calculation first we are going to consider b is equal to yes and do all this calculation and then we are going to repeat that for b equal to no and then whichever is higher, that will be chosen as the prediction. So like we discussed, we try B equal to yes and B equal to no and see which comes out higher and choose that as the prediction class. Okay. So each of these terms that we have here, probability of B, probability of outlook equal to sunny given B, probability of temperature equal to cool given B, probability of humidity equal to high given B, probability of wind equal to strong given B. All these quantities can be estimated using the data on the left, which is what we are going to do to solve this problem. So first off, let's start with probability of Yes. So 
To calculate probability of yes, we are going to look at the data and count the number of yeses in the total number of data instances present. So we have D3, D4, D5, D7, D9, D10, D11, D12 and D13. So that comes out to be 9 out of 14 total instances where probability where, where the data instance is the final prediction is yes next we calculate probability of no F probability of no is every other data instance which is not a yes right so out of 14 we have nine yes then we will have five no now on to probability of sunny outlook equal to sunny given so now we have given b right so the b here is either yes or no so that's why we have probability of outlook equal to sunny given yes so we go now into the data instances which have the class value equal to yes so we only look at those instances and for those instances in those instances we see if outlook is sunny if outlook is sunny then we count that as a positive one if it is not then we leave it so we have nine instances to check so let's check first uh, d3 the outlook is overcast so that's not counted then we check d4 outlook is rain that's not counted d5 outlook is rain again not counted d7 outlook is overcast not counted d9 outlook is sunny that's what we want right we want sunny so we count that so one d9 and d10 rain we don't count that d11 is sunny again so we count that so two d12 it is yes and overcast not counted d13 yes and overcast not counted so in all there are only two instances in the nine yes prediction instances that have outlook equal to sunny so finally our outlook equal to sunny, sunny given yes value becomes 2 over 9 now for the other class so now we are going to calculate outlook equal to sunny given no so no we have five instances to check the first one d1 the outlook is sunny so we count that d2 outlook is sunny we count that and then we have d6 outlook is rain we don't count that d8 outlook is sunny and platonus is snow we count that so three and the last one d14 out platonus is snow but outlook is rainy so we don't count that so in all we get three out of the five instances which are no we have three where outlook is sunny we repeat this calculation for Temperature is equal to cool given yes. Temperature is equal to cool given y. So that should be pretty easy for you to calculate. So we have to do both ways, right? Remember. So now the next step would be probability of temperature equal to cool given yes equal to cool given no right do that for each and every ones where you have two of these calculated for both yes and no again for this as well and this as well for each for both yes and no and if you calculate that you will get these values 3 by 9 for temperature equal to cool given b equal to yes 3 by 9 for humidity equal to high 
B equal to yes and 3 by 9 for wind equal to strong B equal to yes so you will get these values if you calculate that and once you have all the values for both yes and no you multiply them together so that's the formula right that formula is probability of B pi of probability of AI given B each of these features values that you have given the class and for class you have yes or no so you calculate this for each class so that's what is given by this b belong to yes or no and when you calculate this you have you get 0 0.0053 for yes and 0 0.0206 for no now based on these two values no is higher so we predict that no is our output prediction that's what we predict using naive base now we predicted for a new instance we use the values on the left which are coming from our training data instances to finally predict the output.